about two to three feet away from my anchor point, make a loop, push a bite up through that loop. Now I've got my overhand with a slip. We're going around our anchor point. For a normal trucker's hitch, I would just go through once and create that mechanical advantage. So for the variation, what I'm going to do is instead of going through once and going back to my anchor point, I still want that mechanical advantage. But I'm going to go through twice and make a round turn, basically, on the inside of that, that loop that I created. Then when I pull on this, it's going to bind on itself, and I can let go and not lose any tension. Then I can come in here throw in my half hitch on a quick release or throw in you know two half hitches on a quick release whatever you want to do to finish that off all right so let's do this close up here got our loop that we created with an overhand slip slash slippery half hitch whatever you want to call it we're going around our anchor point for a normal trucker's hitch I would just go through once and create that mechanical advantage for this particular one, I'm going to go through a second time. And I've created a round turn around, around that loop. Now, I can pull tension towards the anchor, and it's going to twist and bind on itself and actually lock itself into place so that I can come up and tie whatever knot I want to finish that off with. In this case, I'll use a half hitch on a slip so that I can leave a loop, which is common for some other emergency shelters. Take it out. All I've got to do is pop that quick release. It still holds the tension. So I'll take the tail. I'm going to pull it back away from the anchor point, and that's going to pop loose. Just like that. Anyway, there you have it. Hope that helps.